If you are currently shopping for a chinchilla or trying to find one, this video is for you. If you're a new chinchilla owner or current chinchilla owner in general, this channel is for you. So be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. That way you guys keep getting the helpful content that you need to take care of your chinchilla. And for those of you who are new to the channel, if you're curious why I am now in the shopping phase for a chinchilla again, unfortunately that is because the main star of this channel, Chili, passed away this past Tuesday. I know a lot of you already know that, so sorry for repeating it, but that is the situation, so it was time to provide an update, and why not help others that are going through the shopping process for a chinchilla along the way. Additionally, guys, for any of you who need other helpful resources or don't prefer video, be sure to head over to planetchinchilla.com. Just type that into your web address bar, P-L-A-N-E-T, chinchilla.com. About 200 blog posts that I've authored on that website, ready and available for you to get useful information from. Be sure to do that. And for now, let's dive into the shopping process and just give you an update on what's going on since my previous chinchilla chili passed away this last Tuesday. All right, guys. So like I said, a lot of you will already know about Chili passing away this past Tuesday. Many of the new individuals who come across the channel will not. No new updates on that in any fashion, um, except we are shopping for another chinchilla. So I want to break down the process I'm going through, give all the subscribers an update on what I'm doing on my end so that you know the content will still be coming as scheduled, and just to kind of let you know how we're doing in general with that entire situation. So the, the day of when she passed this past Tuesday didn't do much in regards to anything except posted that video for you guys and then that night I actually tried to maybe emotional purchase another chinchilla from PetSmart which isn't my number one way that I like to get a chinchilla if I had to choose but the person working at PetSmart told me that they had a standard gray male available so I was like well he needs a home obviously he doesn't want to stay in that pet store and then I get there and they sold it like 10 minutes previously was not happy again I tried doing that the same day that Chili had passed so those two things happening in the same day really put me over the top but why give up right so here's kind of your options if you're shopping for a chinchilla right now what you can do and what I am doing to get another chinchilla in the house as quickly as possible because we love having them so like I said we did pet smart number one so pet stores num is your number one way that you can try first if you have any locally. PetSmart, you just know what happened on the first effort on that, and then they claim that they get two every Monday or every other Monday. I don't know if the employees there ever actually communicate with each other or if anybody actually knows anything about how the store operates because I get a different answer every time I call, but they told me to call Monday morning because that's when they get their chinchillas and see what they have. So that is probably going to be the fastest way that I end up adopting another one if I don't find something sooner which I am trying other pet stores you guys can call in your guys's area besides pet smarts are pet co's but they inform me that they no longer get chinchillas in again I believe about six percent of what pet store employees tell me because it typically is wrong so call your local pet co and see if they have one. Some pet supply stores, like we have a pet supplies plus store, may have them, but outside of that, unless it's like a specialty store in your local area, those are the big brand companies that will have the highest likelihood of having a chinchilla that you can adopt. So then I was obviously mad about the whole situation of not getting the chinchilla that I drove to the store to get. So naturally I went onto Facebook and started scouting out local rescues that had other small rodents. And that went pretty well, except if I wanna take that route, which I kind of already did and didn't, I have a chinchilla held that I don't know if I'll actually end up adopting for the first week of January because it's still too young. It would be a brown baby chinchilla, female. I hope to get one sooner than that because I honestly don't wanna wait my son is already mad that he thought that one was coming home that night and it didn't so I need to speed it up definitely before Christmas because now he thinks it's a mess with what he thinks is going on when the new chinchilla is coming that kind of thing so rescues is another way that you can adopt a chinchilla if you choose I would say a google them so go to google and type in local chinchilla rescues for adoption see what pops when you do that and if that doesn't give you a ton of good stuff go to Facebook and type uh, search by like geolocation for you 
and see what's there because I honestly had no clue that there was a rescue like three miles from my house that frequently got chinchillas. I was kind of shocked because I feel like I would have seen it before, but I hadn't and she will have those ready soon. So make sure you check. You might have something, you know, a hop and a skip away and you don't even know it. So that is an option for those of you looking to adopt. And then you have breeders, which is probably the most common way to adopt a chinchilla, unless you live in an area where it is super difficult to drive to a local breeder. And what I mean by that is chinchillas get super stressed in vehicles. The, the AC needs to be pumping for them to keep them cool. They shouldn't have a water bottle. They can be jumbling around in the car that can drip on them. And it's just a high stress situation. So you wouldn't necessarily want to drive from California to Texas to get one, even though that's not fully across country. It's just a long time for them to go through that stress. But if you're, depending on where you live, I have breeders pretty much all around me, but still to where it's a complete pain in the rear to get to one of them. So I have like six within a circle, but they're all like two and a half hours to three hours away. Just enough to where it annoys you to have to go that far, but tons of options. So clearly I have options to adopt one. They're available. They're available in tons of states. I'll even link a blog post in the description below where I break down all of the known breeders per state in that blog post so that you can kind of search by their name in Google and see if that gives you some more options. As far as how I am doing since that took place, obviously I'm still sad. Um, that probably will last a little while. And then every time I kind of start to get over it, something re-sparks a memory, the mailman that uh, irritated me today for no reason except something he had no idea that he was even doing. But Chili had her uh, rose hips and her bee pollen granules delivered today um, so clearly that brings back up a little bit of sadness but overall I want to you know focus on making the content for you guys continue to learn as much as I can and give another chinchilla a good home now for one second let's talk about price um, for these guys because I don't want the whole video to be like an update on what's going on in case you're a new person on the channel or you haven't subscribed but if you're shopping right now and you're you know you wrote down all those options I just covered Price is obviously going to come into consideration as well as the color or the mutation of the chinchilla that you want. So overall, honestly, the, the rescue is probably always going to be your cheapest option because, you know, their whole goal is to find their chinchillas a good home. So they're typically not going to charge somebody $500 to just make sure that a chinchilla has a safe home. So if you want to go cheapest to most expensive, rescue one and then pet store number two. In my area, Central Illinois, a chinchilla is $150 at the pet stores, but it is almost like always standard grays. Sometimes they will get a white or a black chinchilla in, but it's rare, but it's almost always standard grays, $150. I don't know if that's the same price in your area, but that gives you a rough idea. And then you got the breeders, and they're going to be the most expensive, but only based on color mutation and a lot of other factors. Some of them are just really reputable, good breeders, or they offer you starter type items to get you going and, and things like that. And if you want, you know, like a, a chinchilla that the, it's a TOV or it's got the touch of velvet or it's a, one of the violet or gold bar or something, those are gonna be more expensive. If you're still just looking for a standard gray, the price is probably still gonna be in that one to $200 range, depending where you're at. And then it can kind of go up anywhere from 200 to like $800, depending on which chinchilla you want or how many you adopt. So again, I just wanted this to be a update plus some educational information. If you're going to adopt one soon, make sure you do a quick search on how to travel safely with these guys so you don't put them in any harm's way. Keep that air conditioner pumped and moving hard for them so that they stay cool and set them up with an awesome cage setup whenever you arrive back home. I've got mine ready to go. It's been cleaned. I actually did it that day. It's almost like that occupied my mind more than, I just wanted to get it ready is the easiest way to put it. So it's ready and waiting for the next chinchilla to enter our household. And then as always guys, don't ever forget to head over to planetchinchilla.com. Just type in planetchinchilla.com into your URL web address bar. Go check it out, check out the blogs. Don't ever forget about the ebook that we have on the website available. You just use the menu bar, go to ebook downloads, and you can use promo code CHINCARE50 at checkout for 50% off. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please give us a thumbs up on the videos. When you do that, it makes YouTube algorithm love us, get us, 
gets us in front of plenty of other chinchilla owners who need the help as well. So that thumbs up goes a lot further than you guys think. And hit the notification bell so you're notified when new videos come out. Again, guys, I am trying my hardest to get another one or adopt another chinchilla as fast as possible. In case that doesn't happen on Monday, bear with me. We still might have a few educational type videos like this where I have to make do with the resources that I have, but working on it, trying my best to make that happen. I want one just as bad as any of you who watch the videos would like to see one interacting again. So we are trying, bear with us. Thank you for all of the support on the channel. Again, subscribe if you're not. Check out planetchinchilla.com. And now real quick guys, before I send you on your way, I'm going to do a, about a 20 second tutorial on how to fill out the forms on the website for any kind of giveaway we do on the channel, including the one coming up December 18th, and how to navigate to that ebook if you guys are ever interested. That's what's here. If you don't wanna watch it, no big deal. If you do, that's what's next. Okay guys, open up a blank web address bar, type in planetchinchilla.com and hit enter. P-L-A-N-E-T, chinchilla.com. This will take you to the website. And once you are on the website, guys, all you need to do to fill out a form for any kind of giveaway is hit Planet Chinchilla YouTube up here in the menu bar, which will take you to the videos page and everything about the YouTube channel. And the form will be right here in the middle of your screen. You do not have to put your actual first and last name. I'm not worried about your information. The email is important and it's just a way to be able to contact you guys easier if you have one. And then the submit button, which actually appears not to be showing the correct color right now, will be right here where my mouse cursor is. So you will hit that submit button, fill it out, and you will be good to go. And for those of you who are interested in the ebook, all you have to do to get to that page is click this link right up here in the menu bar that says ebook downloads, and you can check out on this page and read all about that ebook. Again, promo code is chincare50, C-H-I-N-C-A-R-E-5-0. You will not apply that code until you're at the checkout screen. But that is how you do it, guys, and that's it.